Andy Staples, college football writer, Sports Illustrated, senior college football writer. We're interested in this uh, Kyler Murray story. Uh, summarize this story for uh, the audience, Andy. All right. So what you have is the heir apparent to Baker Mayfield, the guy who is probably going to be the starting quarterback at Oklahoma. But he's also a great baseball player, was, was a prospect out of high school, but had a great year on the diamond for Oklahoma. It kind of looks like Ricky Henderson, where Whoa. he's really fast. He can hit for power. Um, he had a 556 slugging percentage uh, last year, had 10 home runs in 51 games. So that kind of, you know, five-tool type player, all of a sudden, he becomes a much bigger baseball prospect. And last night, he gets drafted by the Oakland A's with the number nine overall pick. Now, they have the slotted values in the, in the Major League Draft. And the value on that pick is $4.76 million bucks. So the question now is, is Kyler Murray going to play football? Will he be Oklahoma's starting quarterback? And he says yes, and the A's say yes. And what it looks like is the A's are going to let him be Oklahoma's starting quarterback for a season, and then they expect him to, to embark upon his professional baseball career. And you can be a professional in one sport and an amateur in another. Can he hire an agent? Does he have an agent baseball-related? Yeah, he can do that for baseball. And, and in fact, college baseball players are allowed to have what they call advisors, which are basically their agents, because the best college baseball players were prospects coming out of high school, were probably drafted coming out of high school, and had someone advising them on, on what they should do when they were deciding whether they were going to go to college or sign with a, with a major league club. So uh, he, he's got somebody there. And he's gone, just like that. Remember Russell Wilson at North Carolina State? He got drafted, I believe, by the Rangers. But he was maybe a, a fourth-round pick or later, something like that. And it was only $200,000 there. But that he lost his job at NC State as the quarterback because the coach said, I'm going to bring in Mike Glennon because he's committed to football. And then Russell Wilson uh, transferred to Wisconsin. Uh, Andy Staples back with us. As you were saying, Andy. Yes, I... Uh... Well, I heard you talking about Tom O'Brien, who uh, the ill-fated decision to choose Mike Lennon <laughs> over Russell Wilson because of baseball. So, hot, uh, helpful tip: always pick the player who's better at the sport you're you're coaching. And Russell Wilson was better at football. But no, for Kyler Murray, I know people ask about the NCAA rules. Uh, people always remember Jeremy Bloom, who was the guy who played receiver at Colorado and was an Olympic skier, and he wasn't allowed to be a pro skier and play football at Colorado. But that was because most of the skiing money comes from endorsements. If you're making a salary from a professional team in one sport, you can still be considered an amateur by the NCAA in another sport. So you, you've seen it with Russell Wilson. Ricky Williams split time with the Phillies organization when he played at Texas. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's, it's pretty common. And, you know, it, it sounds like the A's are on board. Their director of scouting said, hey, we're, we're thrilled to be Oklahoma fans for 12 games, which is amazing to me because, you know, they're probably going to spend – close to $5 million to sign Kyler Murray. That's a big investment. And all of a sudden you've got your, your 5'10", 190 pound, maybe, you know, center fielder of the future getting chased by 300 pound dudes. Well, also I'm looking at this and he's got two years of eligibility. What happens if he gets beat out for the starting quarterbacking job? Don't they have a redshirt freshman who's, uh, you know, been pretty impressive here? Well, Murray came out of camp or came out of spring practice as, as the leader in the clubhouse. So, uh, I, I think they would prefer to have Kyler Murray starting. Uh, Oklahoma's quarterback situation is not as deep as they'd hoped it'd be. Uh, they threw a guy off the team last year who ironically may wind up starting against them in their season opener against Florida Atlantic. Lane Kiffin picked him up after he got thrown out of Oklahoma last year. So uh, I think that the Sooners were planning on Kyler Murray being the guy. Uh, so I'm not particularly worried about him getting beat out this year. But okay. what I was interested in is, is the way the A's frame this is that this is a one-year thing. That, that When the director of scouting says, we'll be Oklahoma fans for 12 games, and I'm sure Oklahoma fans are saying, we'd rather it be you know, 15 games, because so that means we won the national title. But uh, I think it sounds like the A's are planning on this being a one-year thing uh, and, and him not using that last year's eligibility in football. And it's, it's strange for me, because this is a situation where if, if you were pulling off Baker Mayfield, six-foot, 215 pound guy being the number one pick in the draft. I'd look at 5'10, 190 pound Kyler Murray and say, listen, there's no way he's ever going to be a high enough football draft pick to justify walking away from this or even considering playing another sport.
But what just happened with Baker Mayfield suggests, you know, maybe maybe there is a chance. But if you look at the raw numbers of this thing, Dan, imagine if the guy becomes a star center fielder. You're talking eight-figure salaries for 10 to 15 years. I mean, yeah. that's really hard to pass up. And they're fully guaranteed in the majors, and they're not fully guaranteed in the NFL. I just can't imagine the NFL team taking a 5'10", 190-pound guy at quarterback unless he is just off the charts. And you talk about a big ass. Baker Mayfield had a historically great season last year at Oklahoma. The odds of anybody even equaling that are very slim. So I, I think I would imagine Tom best future is in baseball. So I, I'm not shocked that there are people today going, why is he playing football at all? Is he crazy? But he loves it, and he's going to give it a shot. Andy, good stuff. Thanks for joining us. Enjoy the offseason. We'll talk soon. All right. That's uh, Andy Staples, Sports Illustrated senior college football writer. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.